what? Hello once again, everyone. I'm your host, Ray Shasha. Welcome to another edition of Interviewing the Legend. It's brought to you by the Rockstar Chronicles. Uh, book, my book featuring over 45 intimate conversations with the greatest music legends the world will ever know. Available now at bookbaby.com and amazon.com. Well, from Top 40 Hits, I Will Be In Love With You, and I'll come running to I Can Dream Of You and Boatman, the last two recorded by his brother James. Uh, Livingston's creative output has continued unbated. His musical knowledge has inspired a varied repertoire, and he is equally at home with a range of musical genres, folk, pop, gospel, jazz, and from upbeat storytelling and touching ballads to full orchestra performances, Livingston Taylor has never stopped performing since those early coffee house days. Shared the stage with major artists such as Joni Mitchell, Linda Ronstadt, Fleetwood Mac, Jimmy Buffett, and Jethro Tull. And he maintains a busy concert schedule, touring internationally. He is a natural performer, preparing his shows with personal stories and anecdotes, and warmth that connect him to his fans. His relaxed onstage presence bellies the depth of his musical knowledge and fans might just as often be treated to a classic Gershwin or something from the best of Broadway. February 2019, Livingston released The Best of Lie, 50 Years of Livingston Taylor Live. This album features 11 song selections from his upcoming live Livingston Taylor Live box set, which is out now. Upon release, the album was ranked in the top 10, and his song Good Friends was number two on the folk DJ chart. Please welcome American singer, songwriter, and folk musician Livingston Taylor to interviewing the legends. Hello, Livingston. Ray, so good to speak with you this day. A nice delivery on the on the uh, uh, the uh, written uh, uh, prep there, yes, to proceed our interview. Always amuses me to sit at one side and uh, hear those uh, 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 accomplishments or whatever sort of spilled out. Um, well, yeah. I cut it short. You go on and on, man. <laughs> yes, yes. To uh, 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 Apparently, uh, sometimes it's possible to put too much uh, uh, gunpowder in the can. And <laughs> exactly, out. exactly. And then we would, would have nothing to talk about. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, don't worry. We'd have something to talk about, Ray. <laughs> well, I was going to start the show by saying uh, Professor Livingston, I presume, you know. Yeah. Of course, it's Dr. Livingston, but you are Professor Livingston, yes. which is well, so actually, cool. I have a... Uh, 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 <clears throat> uh, I have an honorary PhD, so so you uh, are Doctor Livingston. So technically, you can get the doctor. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, it's uh, a uh, uh, it's a it's a twisted uh, road, but uh, <laughs> yes, yes, life if, is a twisted road. Yes, uh, if looked at fuzzily, uh, yeah. you can get me to doctor. Okay, yeah. good. Well, I'll, I'll, I can call you a doctor. Well, the, the, your, your last, I guess, your last release was the live fifty years of Livingston Taylor. Uh, that that's a great package deal, isn't it? It's got a 54 page commemorative photo book, uh, notes, stories, lots of music. Uh, that's the definitive collection, isn't it? Well, that's the certainly the definitive live collection. Right. The the um, uh, all those decades of uh, of playing live and mm -hmm. finding recordings that are uh, uh, old and obscure and going through them. It was a really, uh, it was a fun retrospective to make. Mm -hmm. and, I'm, and I'm glad we did it. And I'm glad right. we put down that marker. Um, yeah. Well, like you said, it is a marker. You know, a lot of musicians got their original tapes, you know, destroyed in fires and things like that. So now you have it you know, uh, like, like in a library, basically, you can always get to it. You can always get to it. That is until, yeah. the, yes, until the uh, uh, the Internet crumbles. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You can get to it. 
I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, though. Well, I'm certainly <laughs> hoping that it doesn't. I, I, too, am of the school that says that is not going to happen. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I, 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 I listen to the gloom and doom I know. of the time, yeah. and I hear it, but I just, I just can't get there, Ray. You yeah. Know, uh, 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 it seems to me more people on the planet leading longer better lives i agree with you um a, a better medicine um uh just just uh, unbelievable uh uh if you need a uh, a quadruple bypass or a new knee or yeah or if you've got uh, cancers that just would take you out yeah um uh uh, 30, 40 years ago that were yeah. just uh, survivable for only minutes mm -hmm. are now uh, are, are now completely curable. No, these are very good times. A pandemic yeah. comes amongst us, comes upon us, Ray, a pandemic, and uh, we have a vaccine for it in months. Exactly. In months. Exactly. We're getting vaccines into people's right. arms. It's it's a great time. I'm it is sure. a great time. I agree with you. I just had Dion on my show. Yeah. And we were talking about, we don't want to get political or the news or anything like that. Yeah. But he was saying, you know, and he's right. The news is in a bubble. They don't know Ooh. what's going on out th outside their studio. <laughs> you know, they don't they don't go out. They don't know what real life is all about. Well, you know, you know? I, I, I'm, I'm not sure that I quite agree. They mm -hmm. see it, but they are under pressure right. to keep people watching yeah. to keep dialed in. Facebook is under terrible pressure to yeah. keep people paging through. And you either get, uh, you, you get people to dial in mm -hmm. and page through because you're reporting problems and panic. I yeah. have to tell you, if you have a news show, yep. uh, called uh ray's good news yeah it's just not going to get very <laughs> many viewers <laughs> but you know what every you know i've done you know literally thousands of interviews i haven't had one bad one i know secrets yeah i know bad stuff i never mm -hmm. report it because yeah. i love the musicians i love the music and i want to keep it going you know, I want to keep that great music going. So I refuse yes. to say anything bad. Yeah. You know? Good. And I won't tell anybody his album stinks either. <laughs> you know, well, you know, you know, the the well, certainly if you're giving uh, if you're doing interviews with mm -hmm. people, you need right. to be um, uh, you need to be uh, uh, relatively positive sure. about who and what they are. Yeah, exactly right. And you guys you know, you're all great people. You know, I, I identify more with musicians. I grew up with musicians in high school and mm -hmm. I played in the band. <clears throat> you guys are wonderful, man. You're good people. I want to mention you got a lot of dates coming up. It's amazing yes. how many dates you got up. And thank you because a lot of them in Florida. <laughs> That's right. Well, well, first, I love the great state of Florida. Love coming there. Uh -huh. Um, uh, needless to say, uh, uh, Florida in the in the cold of a New England winter yeah. is a stunning uh, gift. Yeah. And so I very much appreciate being able to uh, to come and enjoy the bucolic setting. Mm -hmm. Well, you already got a sold out show November sixteenth, um, very close to me at the Palladium Theater in St. Pete. Yep, I'm just south of that. You know, in Bradenton. Yeah. <clears throat> and you're sold out there. I just want to mention some Florida dates. You're going to be in Key West, which is pretty mm -hmm. cool, February yeah. 21st. You and Jonathan Edwards together. I've, I've interviewed Jonathan. Great guy. Oh, he's a wonderful friend. Nice man. And a great musician. And yeah. Yes. Uh, he's going to, that's just, this is in Boca Raton, February 23rd. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Again with uh, Jonathan uh, in Vero Beach. Then you've got the Janice Ian farewell tour, which is interesting. I, I didn't know. Is she is she retiring? Well, she is. Yes, 
I didn't she know that. She's retiring. She is taking a farewell tour. She asked mm. me to accompany her right. on that tour. And uh, uh, I'm generally, um, uh, not generally, I'm opening act for Janice. And okay. she's a music legend. Yep. She is really worth seeing. Mm -hmm. She's a uh, she's a wonderful person, a dear friend, and uh, uh, and I am absolutely honored to accompany her uh, uh, on on this uh, farewell tour. Um, it's I I. I uh, it gets a little tough to be out there on the road. Uh, uh, and after a while, you think yeah. about letting it go. By the way, that's not going to happen for me. I love being on the road. I yeah. cannot <laughs> wait to show up. There will be no um, uh, uh, final tour for Livingston Taylor. I will simply quietly uh, 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 drift away. Well, sometimes those farewell tours don't mean a darn thing anyway, because they, they always well, come back four times. <laughs> well, uh, um, uh, it it is true. Uh, Janice is pretty purposeful. Is she? she says, yeah, she, yeah. Uh, um, she's uh, pretty strong about sort of doing what she says she's yeah. doing. Yeah, like you said, touring's tough, and especially as you get older, man. Yeah. It really yeah, is. I, uh, 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 I think that it is. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Does uh, the wife ever go with you on tour? Or Gail, no? uh, oh, yes. Gail travels with me. Oh, great. Um, Wonderful. Uh, about, probably about half the time. And That's good. Uh, uh, I think there's a very good chance on a few of these trips to Florida in the coming year, she will right. be. Incredible. That's awesome. Also, you're touring not only uh, with Janice, but a guy I had on the show and I love dearly, Tom Chapin. Oh, he said, what a nice uh, guy, yeah. <laughs> family guy. Well, you know, you know, <laughs> me, you know, my idea of a, a, Tom is a wonderful, decent, really nice yes. guy. Yeah. You know, my idea of being an, a, a good human being is when I decide not to run down run down pedestrians in Harvard <laughs> Square, you know, look, I could have run them over. I'm such a good man. But, but no, uh, 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 Tom Chapin is, uh, uh, yeah, he's terrific. I, I'm a big fan. His, his um, you know, pandemic shows he did on YouTube with the, with his uh, daughters were, you know, I watched a lot of those. They were very, mm. very popular. Yeah. You're going to be back at the Capitol Theater in Clearwater. I cover that venue. Yeah. Uh, Capitol, Ruth Eckerd Hall. I cover that. You're going to be back in Clearwater April 3rd. Yeah. And then my old stomping ground, Ram's Head in Annapolis. I was a disc jockey in Annapolis. I did top oh, 40 man. back in the late yeah. 70s. Well, the Ram's Head <laughs> is a, uh, in Annapolis, Maryland, mm -hmm. is a very, uh, that's a very precious place to me. I've been there many times. Yep. And, uh, when they first decided to start doing music, I was the first uh, fellow they called up. So it was. You, you've been I, around that area, very popular. I'm from DC originally. Yeah. And of course, the cellar door. It's all those years at the <laughs> cellar door. You Constitution bet. Hall, you yep. were always there. Yep. I always saw your name there for a long time. It's like growing up with you, basically. You yes, know? that's right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, October 9th, you're going to do a cruise. Uh, it's the New England and Canada cruise. That is going to be so much fun. We're going to do this cruise and we'll hang out together and see foliage in New England in, the, in October, which wow. it does not get better than that. And then uh, 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 make a bunch of music and... Uh, uh, Perhaps some of the people on the cruise will bring a few guitars and uh, and we'll get to uh, play together. And I'm really looking forward to it. It'll, How it'll much fun that's going to be. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be wonderful. Well, I've got, I'm going to be interviewing your sister soon. Oh, good. Kate. Uh, she's got the new album out. Uh, yeah. And so I'm going to have her and Peter Asher on Zoom. Together. Oh, that'll be fun to have the two of them on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and of there's course, a, uh, I'll tell you, between those two, there's a lot of rock and roll history uh, there. Oh, Ooh. big time, big mm. time. 
what a great musical family you're from, man. What what was it? What was it like growing up in the Taylor household? Well, I I think I think that there's a a a, a, a sense, Ray, that that um, uh, we sat around tables and had these vast family things. And right. it really wasn't that way, but there was music around all the time. Mm -hmm. And so we were all finding musical sources and sort of bringing them back and informing one another. Right. Um, obviously our oldest brother, Alex, mm -hmm. um, uh, informed uh, uh, most of us, he would say, uh, he was really a musical adventurer. My parents um, were listening uh, to a lot of Broadway all mm. the time. Uh, uh, I was listening personally to pop music. Okay. I love, uh, I loved top 40 radio, Me too. pop songs. Yeah. It's just, um, it's just a genre that I enjoy. Right. And uh, 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 also a, a, a strong folk element. And, uh, and that came in a lot. So there was a lot of music coming in, mm -hmm. a bouillabaisse of music, <laughs> as it were. Yeah. I, I read somewhere that you, were, you guys were, you and uh, James uh, invented a lot of things, a lot of invented instruments and things like that as a kid. Is that true? Well, yeah, I yeah. mean, we're, we're, uh, we're an inventive crew. And, yeah. uh, uh, heck, when you write a song, you're inventing the song. Right. I mean, exactly. it's, it's, it, it exists, it has parts, it goes down the road, it goes over the airwaves. Yeah. So sure, we, uh, we, are, uh, we are a very inventive and creative uh, mm -hmm. uh, family. And people speak about the commonality of music. Mm -hmm. Yes, music, but we're really, uh, we're really project oriented. We right. do projects, we get them done, we conceive of them, we uh, uh, pursue them, mm -hmm. we finish them, and then we, uh, uh, we uh, market them. And that's, that's what we do. Yeah, and the perseverance though in your family is amazing. I mean, the whole family, like you say, gets it done. You yes, know? no it, question. It is, yeah. How's, how's Carly Simon, by the way? We don't hear too much about her anymore. You know, I, uh, I see Carly uh, on a, a fairly regular basis. You know, I say fairly regular. Once every six months or so, I, right. I go to her house and I see her. And Carly is, um, uh, she's, she has a few health challenges. She mm -hmm. doesn't, um, um, she's not, uh, uh, terribly mobile but her brain is crackling and her yeah. uh, energy is wonderful she's enthusiastic mm -hmm. she's uh um she's got a show coming up at carnegie hall oh good Very um good. A, a, a a a where a lot of people are coming and playing her music and i'm going to be part of that awesome as well yeah i think that's in march right um uh, don't quote me on that but i think it's yeah. in march I love Carly, man. I, oh, I, man. I remember I the days Carly, of her and Simon. Carol King. You know, and I knew I knew Carly uh, before she knew James. Yeah. Uh, she and I used to uh, sing together. Had a little uh, show that we we did, and uh, uh, she spent a fistful of years with my uh, beautiful brother James. Yep. Uh, made me a niece and a nephew. They made mm -hmm. me a niece and nephews that are very much favorites of mine, Ben and Sally. And mm -hmm. so things have been good. Good, good. I saw James at the Merriweather Post in Columbia, Maryland a long time ago. Yeah. When he was married to Carly and people in the audience were saying, where's your wife? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <I> know. <laughs> Bring her out. That's right. <laughs> He's, well, he's could, an amazing uh, you could, man. You yeah. could do a lot worse than to appear on stage with Carly Simon. Oh, she's yeah. a wonderful, uh, wonderful person. She, she's another genius of, of music. She really is. Mm -hmm. I mean, she constructs songs and yep. you know, it's, no, it's she's a natural a for her. Pop, she's a great pop songwriter. She Absolutely. is. 
Yeah, she's incredible. That's the way I always heard it should be. I mean, I just melt when every time I hear yeah. that tune. Talk about your master class retreat. Yes. You got, you got one coming up in 2022, right? Yes, uh, certainly do. Okay. And, um, and that is a, uh, it'll be in August. I'm not remembering the date right now, but okay. that will be up at Indicott College, north of Boston. And that, I'll tell you, I'm very enthusiastic about that retreat. Right. I've taught for 30 years, and I can tell you that, um, that the, the retreat is, um, uh, the retreat is a wonderful place mm -hmm. to hone your guitar playing, songwriting, okay. uh, singing, uh, uh, all of your skills. It's an intensive and, and there's a lot of information in my retreat. So what exactly happens? Do you break out into groups or yes, is it you? Yes, we break out into groups. Okay. Uh, uh, we, we play uh, uh, critique songs, critique uh, voice. Uh, um, there are really simple, easily doable things you can, you can do mm -hmm. that really improve your playing and your song delivery enormously. Hmm. Now, do you have to be an expert to come to these retreats or can you be like a, you know... Uh, 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 I can certainly help um, uh, starting players. Okay. Uh, but I have um, information that can help mm -hmm. really terrific players as well. Okay. So this is go on your website, basically. And yeah. is that where you would sign up or? Go on the website. Uh, you would sign up. Um, uh, go on the website. Yes, sign up there. Sign yes. up there. Okay. Yeah, a lot of a lot of legendary musicians are doing a lot of these things. Uh, Billy Cobham does does kind of yeah. a thing. Now, is yours only guitar players, or do you have other oh, people no, with you other instruments? Come as a keyboard player. Okay. As a, as a vocalist. Um, okay. You can come as a group. You could have uh, two or three players that that you're working with. Oh wow. And you as a group uh, no there are many uh, there are many uh, uh, any configuration mm -hmm. it's really about how you uh, my expertise Ray right is on how do you deliver your music to an audience okay how do you conceive of conceive of it and construct it in a way that your vision will be attractive to others right speaking of that you wrote a book called stage performance yes is that basically in that same type of yeah thought I mean, process? my book is a is a uh, uh, uh is a reflection of the class uh uh that i've taught for 30 plus years wow that's a that's a great book, by the way. You got a lot of great reviews. Thanks. Yeah, it's on Amazon, by the way. Amazon.com. You can pick it up. Amazon.com. That's right. They sell stage, everything. Stage performance. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna buy the book. Yeah. I, I I'm kind of a musician. I play guitar. I've had for a long time, but I haven't uh got too serious about it. You know, I just kind of putter around with it. But I am an well, author. I've is, written books. Uh, uh puttering is good. Uh, okay. Puttering occasionally turns into. So. <laughs> when I try to get too serious about something, it doesn't work out. It never does. Mm. I got to be loose. Loose. Uh, I got to be loose. Yeah. 1978 was a good year for you, wasn't it? Well, I'm trying to think. It was, uh, <laughs> I can tell you, it was a distant year for me. <laughs> how good it was. But well, Three Way Mirror. The album yes. came out. You had some big hits on that album. Yes. I Will Be In Love With You, which was a fantastic song. Great, great top 40 song. I'll Come Running was on 78. Um, yeah. Then you had I, I Can Dream Of You and Boatman came out. I don't know if that yeah. came out in 78 or I think Boatman came out a little. Was it the same year? I can't remember now. Boatman is a little later. That's, right. uh, uh, that's a song that 
that I had some nice uh, uh, traction with, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, James recorded it. Yeah. And he had some nice traction with it too, so that was good. Yeah. And you did a song with Carly as well that I love, man. It's it's such a beautiful song. Oh, uh, best of friends. Best of friends. Um, uh, yeah, that's a. Well, let me see. Yeah, the, uh, probably I. Uh, let me see. We're the best of friends, heart and soul. Head to head, toe to toe, I'm not letting go. We're the best of friends, I thought you knew that the best I am is beside you. We're a couple of comfy shoes. Yeah. Yeah, nice, uh, nice to Beautiful think about song. that song. Yeah. Beautiful song. See, that's what I want to do. Just pick up, play on the piano the way you do and write songs that way. You know, that's what I want to do. <laughs> it is, and it is doable. Yeah. But you know, yeah. what is required, what is required is not wanting to do it. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah. Simply do it. You know, one of the things that's most interesting to me is that that people say I can't play the piano and I go really really <laughs> and then they, I say we'll play play a middle C right and sometimes they'll know where that is and sometimes they don't mm -hmm. but then I they go, they'll go and they're looking down like <laughs> and then I'll say you know where it is now, right? <laughs> and I'll say, then push down the sustain pedal. Right. And yep. now that you know where it is, mm -hmm. watch it land. So look around, mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. See what people do in the presence of that note. So if you did that right there, yeah. If, for instance, you just played a middle C, right, and this is the song. This is the song that Ray is getting ready to write. Okay. You just go, Eldo, 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 Eldo. So you can write the song. The song that you wrote would yeah. be Hello. So the only thing, because it's a real song and it's right. got a real note and it's got an over series of, uh, uh, it's got a series of overtones accompanying you mm -hmm. and it would be a lovely song. The problem is mm -hmm. not you're playing the piano or writing a song. The problem is you're comparing yourself to others right. you're asking the song not only to be a song right but to overcome your own insecurity yeah. and your own fear that you will not be enough you're you're don't, right you're 100 percent right don't on that. do that yeah. don't ask your beautiful little song your beautiful mm -hmm. little hello song yeah Hello, 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 hello. Hey, that's a hit. You had the song, <laughs> and then you asked it yeah. to, uh, to make you as famous as the Beatles. Yeah, that's And your true. little song goes, I'm not going to do that. I can't do that. Yeah. And then you're saying to yourself, well, then clearly the reason why it's not making me as famous as the Beatles is that it's not enough right right and and now you start beating on your little song and all it wanted to be was a little song so <laughs> you want to write and i say this to your viewers you want yeah. to write mm -hmm. go write yeah do something right don't 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 talk about wanting to do something yeah take a step yep like the song says step by step I'm walking my way to Canaan. 
step by step, or never more I'll roam. God has a plan to please us, oh, he gave us his son Jesus, and step by step, I'm coming home. Write Beautiful. the song, yeah. go to work, do yeah. something. Do something. <laughs> I have the perseverance to write because you know but, I've written a, I've written books I've written yes, a couple of books. That's good. It's the music part, like you say. You know, but I, again, I get insecure about yeah, you know, playing. You, know? you get always we get insecure that we are yeah. not enough. Right. Hmm. Exactly right. You're a great teacher. You know that. I'm going to have to come down to your uh, your retreat there and uh, hmm. pick up a few things. You You're an ama you amazing guy, man. You really are. <laughs> well, that's yeah, also experience. You've been around for so long, you know. Yes, so, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, I've been around a long time. And being around and needing to articulate. Yes, that's how that. Uh, yeah. That's how that works. What's the uh, Livingston Taylor show? Oh, the Livingston Taylor <laughs> show was a show that I did during the pandemic. And you know, um, uh, I come out, okay. and so I figured if it's a half hour show, but what I wanted first, I wanted a theme song. Okay. And so this one, uh, um, uh, I figured I needed sponsors, mm -hmm. and I didn't actually have any sponsors, so I just made up sponsors. <laughs> Today's show is brought to you by um, uh, uh, the the Dartmouth Rope Company because I love rope. It's rope funny. is an unbelievable thing. It's made a lot of the human experience much more uh, uh, much more compelling. <laughs> Rope is a very, so I, like, that's good. <laughs> uh, I, um, I, I was, uh, uh, occasionally be brought to you by Toyota Motor Company, or uh -huh. small restaurants that I like, anyhow, uh, <laughs> but so we had sponsors. Okay. So it says, it's the Livingston Tabor Show. It's the Livingston Tabor Show. You never know where it's gonna go. It's the Livingston Tabor Show. Is he curving down the street? Oh, let me see. I forgot my lyrics. <laughs> Is he? Oh, I got it now. Is he? Sinking in a boat, is he crashing in a plane? He does he even understand that the devil leads the rain? Is he casually eccentric or actually insane? What's the book brought that brain? It's the Livingston Taylor Show. It's the Livingston Taylor Show. You never know where it's gonna go. It's the Livingston Taylor Show. And at the end, I would sing. It's the Livingston Taylor Show. We're out of time. We gotta go, we'll be back next week, I know. We're gonna turn on that tap, and we're gonna let it flow. It's the Livingston Taylor Show. That was awesome. Those lyrics are incredible, man. Good. <laughs> I love it. 
I love it. You should be on. You should be on TV or at least on cable. You know, Netflix. Well, I, have, I have my little Livingston Taylor show. That's yeah, cool. yeah, that's cool. true. Yeah, you and Tom Chapin, man. You you guys are very very similar. I mean, the brother thing. Yeah, we got the brother thing. Uh, um, yeah. Tom and uh, Harry and Livingston and yeah, Jim. yeah. We talked. Uh, I loved the, Harry. Harry the, was incredible. With the unbelievable with the very great difference that Tom tragically lost his beautiful brother. And, uh, uh, and I am daily, uh, I am uh, blessed to be able to speak and be in touch with my beautiful brother, James. Exactly. Now, who, who's, who's older, you or James? James. James is older? Two and a half years older. Okay. Even at our, at this late age, uh -huh. 70, I delight in reminding him of that truth. <laughs> I do the same thing with with my wife. Yes. <laughs> She's older than me. She's like actually three years older than me. So I, I remind her of that. <laughs> well, you play beautifully, man. You know? Thank you. Yeah. Do, do you play banjo as well or no? I do. I play you a do? five string banjo and that scrug style, that picking style. Yeah, that's such a hard instrument. I don't know how you guys, you know. Work well, it comes it. over for it up. Uh, I played guitar first, and it comes over from the guitar pretty easily. So, yeah. I have um, John McEwen coming up uh, on the 19th, I think, mm -hmm. in the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. So mm -hmm. we're, we're going to talk to John. That that'll be kind of cool. He he's a you know, and he knew. Um, you know, Steve Martin, him and Steve Martin went to high school together. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I saw Steve, uh, uh, oh gosh, uh, just a little pre COVID. Uh, he was at Symphony Hall in Boston, and I, uh -huh. and we had a chance to, uh, to speak there and talk about his banjo playing, which is, uh, which is very strong. Yeah, it is very strong. Yeah. I think John taught him how to play banjo, as a yeah. matter of fact. Well, that would uh, yeah. be a good teacher. You know what I? You're missing today your bow tie. Uh, yeah, I normally I do often wear a bow tie, but uh, I certainly wear a bow tie to teach. But uh, yeah, uh, no, uh, Zoom has a way of making us slightly more casual. Exactly, exactly. You were one of the first guys on Capricorn Records, is that right? Yes, uh, which was very uh, famous with the Allman Brothers. And started a label called Capricorn and yeah. myself, Jonathan Edwards, the Allman brothers. That's right. Uh, uh, we're on Capricorn. Yeah. That must have been some good times back then, huh? Well, it, yeah, it was nice to record. I mean, I didn't, uh, uh, I certainly uh, knew the Allman brothers and mm -hmm. knew them to say hello. They mm -hmm. would record at night. They record all night long, which was their style. Right. And I'd record all day long, which was my style. And we just crossed coming in and out of the studio. Yeah. In those early days. Yeah. Yeah. Dickie Betts lives over here. He lives in Sarasota. Yeah. yeah. Him and his wife. Um, folk songs. You know, that's one of those genres kind of like the blues and jazz that you know it you know it, it, it needs some building up and you know i grew up with folk music in school yes. i mean when i was in L in grade school that was tradition to stop what we were doing and and sing traditional folk songs yeah. that i remember that like yesterday yeah you know and then one day it went away which was a shame because it was such a great tradition in school to sing those folk songs yeah it was it was nice there was uh more uh uh music in school um the thought was that we should replace music with more uh uh, uh activities like uh science and math and, right uh but without understanding that music Music, let me be very clear mm -hmm. with you. Music. Music is the thing that we use to bring us home mm -hmm. After 
going exactly. on journeys of adventurous thought. Mm -hmm. And then we sit back down. And we play those chords. Yeah. It's not by accident that both Neil, the great physicist Niels Bohr mm -hmm. and the incomparable physicist Albert Einstein mm -hmm. were both players. Albert Einstein played the violin mm -hmm. at a, uh, and did so reportedly not very well, but that yeah. didn't matter. Didn't he matter, did, yeah. No, the music is very, very uh, important yeah. uh, for uh, kids, yes. You know, trying to take music and the arts out of school is, is such, it's so wrong. I mean, well, it's, I, again, again, it's not, it's not an issue of right or wrong. It's, yeah. it, it, you, uh, society has different competing, right. Um, uh, senses. Yeah. Um, uh, it, the, the, if, if it's out of the school, it needn't be out of your home. You can right. sing songs with True. your children. You, uh, um, and you know, some of my people, That's a very, very beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm working on the radio. Yeah, exactly. All the live long day. I've been working on the railroad just to pass the time away. I mean, that's a very, very good song. And that's why people keep singing it. Yeah. And so you, you. You don't need a school to do that. I would True. like it if it were in the schools, but if it doesn't want to be in the schools, then let it be in your home. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My grandchildren love music, you know, mm. and and they're always constantly, you know, of course they, they love the Wiggles, you know, and they're yeah. always singing all the time. And my, uh, my daughter, uh, my granddaughter, Ellie, she's three and, she, and she, she's watching uh, Mary Poppins and Sound of Music and she sings along with, with everything at, at the age of three. And she'll pick, I'll play guitar and then she'll grab the guitar, her little guitar and play along with me. I mean, pretending, but nice. it's, it's so cool, you know, yeah, <laughs> to you see do. that. <laughs> You're a pilot. Are you still a pilot? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. No, I'm a very active uh, pilot. Cool. I, I fly airplanes and love Awesome. And I took love flying them. lessons. Yeah. My son-in-law is taking flying lessons as we speak. Good. Yeah. I flew in a uh, really old 172 Cessna, I think. It was a, yeah. Yeah. That's a nice plane. I trained in that myself. Yeah. And uh, how many, do you have one plane or do you have a, several planes now? Oh, oh. oh. One is about it for me. That um, um, uh, my uh, an, uh, to give uh, your viewers who, uh, who might be interested, uh, yeah. Yeah, to get a private pilot's license mm -hmm. uh, costs. Oh, it takes about. You could do it in as little as a month, but it takes sort of six right. uh, uh, six months. You yep. need. Oh, about 60, 70 hours mm -hmm. of flying. And uh, uh, and then to get an instrument rating, uh, to get a, a, a private pilot and then an instrument rating, it costs about uh, 15 or $18,000 in mm -hmm. today's uh, prices. Right. And um, it takes about, uh, if you're conscientious with it, mm -hmm. it takes about a year or a year and a half. Right. But then that gives you full access to the sky, a really good, strong plane that will fly mm -hmm. up and have radios and things is around, oh, fifty thousand dollars <coughs> And uh, 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 my airplane is called a Cessna 205. Right. And it's a six passenger heavy hauler. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
uh, it costs me to fly, I fly about 150 hours a year, and it costs me essentially all in, fuel, insurance, right. uh, et cetera, costs me about um, uh, $4,000 a month to really? play with airplanes. Oh. So it's, it's not impossible, it's mm -hmm. not free. Mm -hmm. But you can have an airplane with a couple of partners. Yeah. Uh, I don't care to have it because uh, yeah. uh, I can afford not to. But uh, but uh, the freedom is unimaginable. Yeah. The, the thing that gave me the thrill the most, I think we were doing maneuvers yeah. over land, uh, you know, open land, just, you know, just in case you had an emergency, yeah. if you're going to land. And you're not I, going to have an emergency. <laughs> no. you know, a guy here in Tampa just one. landed on the road. <laughs> well, or or wherever. But yeah, you know. yeah. But to see my shadow flying was the biggest yep. thrill for me. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I, I didn't get my ticket. I was close. Yes. But my instructor went back to Sweden and she went, became a commercial pilot. And then they gave me somebody else and I wasn't too happy with him. So you got to like your instructor, you know, he well, was... it helps to like your instructor, <laughs> but above all else, what is, what is essential is um, you've got to like the notion of mm -hmm. actually getting the pilot's license, exactly completing the process That's... and going through. And if that yeah. means continuing to work, with yeah. somebody that you don't like. But, you know, if you don't have a lot to do with a, uh, uh, with an, uh, with a pilot's license, meaning mm -hmm. if you don't have an airplane and you yeah. gotta go out and try to rent one, and you know, yeah. it doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense. The best thing to do is just to go to an airport when you wanna go flying. Exactly. And say, uh, I wanna go up with an instructor right. and I wanna fly. I agree with I've you. I've got a few flying lessons and yep. who knows, maybe eventually they'll, Turn it over to you. Did you solo your plane? Did not solo. Uh, I did everything else. You know, I yeah. did all the stalls and everything. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That was fun. The first time you saw an airplane. Yes. <laughs> a bit of a misnomer because you're not yeah. actually, the engine isn't stopping. Right, People right. think about stalling. They think about what you're doing is yeah. you are flying the plane slowly enough Right. That there is not enough air going over the wings to maintain exactly. this weight mm -hmm. in the sky. Gravity yep. takes over. Mm -hmm. You fall down out of the sky, but it's yep. no problem because you're at 3,000 feet. You right. point the nose down. It, uh, it automatically points the nose down. You get enough speed, and mm -hmm. then you're, uh, the wings have enough air to pump, yep. and off you go. You know what was cool? Those old-fashioned King videos, the King. Yes. Slot, those were yeah. cool. Those helped me out a lot. Good. <laughs> so what's going on now with uh, new music? We you got the huge tour coming on. You got any new music coming out? Well, I'm just assembling. I've got two music projects. I want to do one that I call. Uh, uh, a record called Sunshine Pop. All and right. Just dying to do those. I didn't notice what day it was. I didn't notice what time it was. All I know is that I fell in love with you. And if all my dreams come true, true. I'll be spending time with you. Yeah, uh, songs like Great that. Song. I've got a zillion of them, and I love that, love that stuff. Yeah, I, I still love it. I the love top forty songs stuff. Songs that are just that are just light and yeah. uh, and just light as uh, uh, as uh, uh, light as a pork rind. You know, uh, <laughs> yeah, light as a Frito Lay <laughs> pork rind. It just you know uh, I and. Uh, I, I, I have that that I'm working on, okay. that I'm assembling. Right. 
And the other thing I'm assembling is, uh, uh, is I have a, a symphony arranger friend mm -hmm. by the name of Bill Elliott, and okay. we've put together, uh, oh, we've got uh, 13 or so charts for uh, for a symphony orchestra, wow. and we're thinking of going uh, uh, perhaps to Budapest and wow. with an orchestra there and doing all these Beautiful. songs um, uh, with way too many strings all over them. And, Incredible. And that uh, that will be a wonderful project as well. The problem with all of these things, though, Ray, is that they're expensive. Yeah. And uh, 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 both of these projects that I spoke about. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, uh, uh, it, it's, it's a hundred, uh, hundred and fifty thousand dollars to record these things. Yeah. And there is absolutely zero way huh. of getting a return on that investment. Right. And right. so, and so it means that I just have to dig deep yep. and, uh, uh, be, uh, be willing to do it on my own. Yeah. And, well, uh, if it makes you happy, that's the main thing, you know. If it makes well, you happy, you don't know, no. Uh, if it, uh, but also what makes <laughs> you happy, happy is having. Uh, 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 it, it 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 doesn't necessarily make me happy to lose a great deal of money on yeah, a project. I know. So I've got to get to, into a certain space with it, and. Uh, yeah. I've lost I've lost money, but it made me happy a lot of times. Yes, well, well I do have plenty. I I, do, I I buy plenty of things. Yeah. Um, uh, in anticipation of joy, and it doesn't yeah. necessarily work out that way. I know. But, um, uh, and I will eventually get to a place where I will do that with these uh, projects as well. Yeah. I mean, just just you uh, having a, a some kind of cool TV show. You ever think about doing a, a TV show or something like that? with children you know no. maybe you and, and no uh, no and i absolutely no? have zero 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 to do a uh, but it might make you a lot of money you never know <laughs> you know well the question is if you want to make a lot of money that's pleasant but making money is always the result of having been of service right and that's right. really good money to that's make true. you've that's improved true. people's lives yeah and that would require a, a, a now imagine mm -hmm. finding a group of children number one mm -hmm. getting uh coordinating their schedules getting them into a studio mm -hmm. putting you, you were talking about a <laughs> vast undertaking here. i know i know and so so no no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> You'd be so good with kids, though. Well, I great. would be fine. <laughs> uh, uh, evidence when I'm with children, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, yeah, it's something I very much enjoy. Yeah. But it is not easy to put it together. Yeah, yeah, especially teaching them things, you know, especially, yeah, I could see that. Keeping their attention. That, yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Um, yeah. All right. The, here, this is your final question. Fire away. Okay. I ask a lot of people this question, and I get some interesting answers. If you had a Field of Dreams wish, like the movie, to perform, collaborate with anyone from the past or present, who would that be? It's a very, very good and interesting question. Above all else. I think of all the people that I would have, uh, musically, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would have loved to have watched Johann Sebastian Bach Ooh, nice. um, write and create mm -hmm. and ask him questions about what was in his mind, where he was going, what he was doing. Yeah. Um, uh, of all the people in, in, in uh, history that I would love to speak with, mm -hmm. Uh, I would really love to speak with um, uh, uh, with uh, Abraham Lincoln, hmm. and I would love to have spoken with him mm -hmm. uh, 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 just towards the end of the Civil War, right. when it was clear that the Union was going to prevail. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. and said, what would you have done different? How mm -hmm. could we have maneuvered this in a different yeah. way? Yeah. Uh, what, what choices would you not have make, made? What choices would you, uh, are you happy with? Yeah. Um, um, yeah, one of the great, 
One of the uh, uh, sad parts of his uh, uh, death, his assassination, was that he didn't get a chance to give us that, uh, to debrief us. Exactly. Uh, on his thought process during the Civil War. Exactly, you're exactly right, yeah. I grew up, uh, well, I grew up in Baltimore, Maryland, but I was living in Waldorf, Maryland. And that was the path Booth took. He went down uh, 301 uh, in Waldorf and to escape. And, mm. and the Dr. Wow. Mudhouse was like five minutes from my house wow. in that area. Mm. And I've been to Ford's Theater many a times. We, yes. we always took field trips and things like that. Very interesting. Very interesting to go there and, you know, see all that. And of course, well, in these in these uh, distressing times that we live in now, yeah, in these polarized polarized, times, uh, it's a it's it's interest interesting to see uh, what it came to and how it was handled. Yeah, um, uh, uh, through the eighteen fifties and uh, you know to the eighteen seventies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, all when, right, my friend. Oh, I want to thank you so much for being on the show today. My pleasure. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing you in Florida. Everybody oh. buy the best of life. 50 years of Livingston Taylor available on Amazon.com. Also your best selling book stage performance by Livingston Taylor also available at, at Amazon.com. Um, also your website www.livingstontaylor.com. You're on Facebook, you're on Twitter, you're on Instagram. And I have to say special thanks to Brittany. Is it yeah. Bethune for arranging this interview with Brittany Lawrence? Bethune is, Bethune. Uh, uh, is Brittany Bethune, is, uh, my co-manager. Yeah, she's, she's wonderful. All right. All right, Livingston. Thank you, man. My, nice my to best see to the you. family and everybody. Right. Take care. Thank you, Ray. All right. See you bye -bye. soon. Bye bye now.